Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution Claire Sanctuary video. What's this? We've already finished like all the missions of the campaign and I'm still in this game. For what reason could it be? Well, if you recall or have been paying attention, which you should be guys, you know, I'm testing you guys for weaknesses systematically. Okay, that wasn't the best, um reference to a Jurassic Park line, but whatever. But today's video, and possibly the next, if we don't finish all of the mission, is the bonus mission that I have been sort of sharing with you guys, which we are going to be um, doing what should have been the last mission for Claire's Sanctuary, which was to make a biological preserve, basically. Now I know it may seem strange, but hear me out. I have a plan for how we're going to make this happen. I have a list of things we need to do for the mission, which I'm, I'm calling it, um, Sanctuary or Biological Preserve. Not the best of names, but you know what? We'll make do. And we have certain parts of the missions that we're going to do, and we're going to change this entire island into basically an actual biological preserve. Now, how we're going to do that? Well, there's two parts of the mission, so... I don't even know why I was making new dinosaurs, but you know what? We'll finish with these guys, and then, well, then we can start the mission. So, give me a second, guys, while I deal with those dinos. You see, guys, the one the one issue that I have with this campaign is the final mission, really. Like, the rest of the campaign, I enjoy it very much, but the last part is what sort of um doesn't work, because it's not what... That was promised to us basically the trailer literally says that we need to relocate rehabilitate and release the dinosaurs key part of that being the release like we did the relocating we brought some of the dinos to to sanctuary from nublar then we did the rehabilitating by getting the their comforts met and also introducing them to paleobotany for better lifespans and stuff but the re release part I, I don't call them being stuck in a tiny box like this um, released. Unless your definition of release is very different from mine, Claire, because obviously the dictionary does not agree with you. But anyway, anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to make what should have been the final mission a reality. At least how I would envision it to be. Because... We get all these things with the campaign that we don't really get, like, to use, like these, um, plants. So, I'm going to put all of them to use. And I've made the mission, which is split into two parts, which, depending on how fast we work, we may be able to do, um, both of them in one video, or we'll split it up, depending, because it's 9 o'clock where I am right now, at night, so I don't have all day. And... Where do you go? You go here. Yes, you do. And we're almost at five stars, so I'm thinking, actually, I might... Uh, what do I need to get five stars first? Okay, so we need the welfare up. Okay, so hold on, guys, actually. I'm going to cut back when I've reached five stars. You've made something that, like these amazing animals, will stand the test of time. History is alive, and we have you to thank. Well done. Uh, oh, it was nothing. You, you guys didn't have to, but we'll research that, guys. Okay, so we're back a half hour later after that. Do, do you want to know why we didn't have five stars? It's because we needed one more Stegosaurus, because it was the only species here that hadn't reached its full social, besides um, stuff in here and there, but I was having enough trouble in this enclosure because things weren't getting enough food, even though there's two sauropod feeders for like six of them, and there's three for all the Parasaurolophus. But then again, life's t tough sometimes. Now, we can begin the mish- oh, now we're not even at five stars, probably because the stego's in the air. So. We are going to do the mission now. Well, my bonus mission. You probably can see what we have to do in the corner. Probably in the bottom left, bottom right corner. But let's begin. So first we need to 
separate each species, which all we have to do really is a pado, para, and then one these two in their own enclosures, which first let's do Struthiomimus, which we can use these fences. They're relatively harmless. So we'll put you guys in a smaller box, but you guys won't fuss. You don't fuss about anything unless there's no trees. All right. All right, just in case gate and there's water already so we'll put a feeder and now ACU your task is to tranquilize all of these Struthiomimus oh and also we lost strut guys yeah it, it was real sad I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen though but just to remind you we lost strut and also for paros and apatos we can put them in separate enclosures over here there we go. Everything is done. Alright, so... We'll put... Hold on, no, we need a bigger enclosure than that for them. Now, these are only temporary, guys. What we're gonna do is, like, once we build the guest facility area, then we'll, um, build the miniature enclosures for the dinos until, like, you know, we're ready to have them released all right and that is the para and then a patasaurus let's get them around here da, 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 And we definitely need to remove some of these trees, because I know they like trees, but that's ridiculous. They need some grassland, too. They're sauropods, not a raptor. Even though raptors themselves don't seem to like a lot of trees. They like the long grass, you see. Which, maybe we'll get that in evolution, too. Alright, um, any more ornithomimids? Okay. There's you, and I think... Yep, that's all. So, let's move all the Struthiomimus. We shall move the Apatosaurus, which, I think there's only three. Yeah, there's only... Oh, wait, no, there's two. They were camouflaging in with the, um, the, uh, what are they called? Paros. All right, so we need quite a few feeder. We'll put... I'm pretty sure we only just need, um, one, and since this is a... These are temporary boxes. We'll just put these ones. Three should be good. Oh, I need to adjust. Oh yeah, we need a gate for you guys. And I think that's all we... Yeah, these guys are separate. These guys are... Yeah, there we go. So, now they're going to be tranked and then moved over... Uh, here because we're doing the paddles first. I say we start the next part of the mission, which is um, destroy all guest facilities. Now I'm going to destroy all of them except for the path because, well, we kind of need the path to keep the ACU team running. Hold well on. Uh, more, more paddles are tranked. Let's move them over. And then once all the dinosaurs, like, including the apatos, are fully dropped, then we can start doing the paros. Any more? Oh, I think there's one more. Oh, yep. He's phasing it through the brachiosaurus. Don't shoot Nublar Hope. He's, she gets to stay in here. This... I think you might... Oh, my God. Which, which one's which? They're fused together. Wow, they really don't seem to be able to separate. Oh, there we go. They've ripped... They've split apart, and boo, he is down. Or she. Well, I don't know. Somebody go up and pull the dinosaur skirt. Alright, so now, let's, um, destroy ye all of these guest facilities, including the people inside of them. Alright. Got you. 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 
And let's make sure not to destroy the pylons or anything because I think we we kind of need them, guys. Yes, yes. Well, too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power's out. Go panic. Even though literal people are being erased from existence by the click of my hand. Or if we were Thanos, it'd be a snap. All right. Is that all the guest facilities? That is all the guest facilities for now. Now let's... I'll cut back when all of these paras are tranquilized. I just realized something. These guys are in the way. Okay, so let's make an AC use center right around here. And then put a substation here. And then what we'll do is we'll move their enclosure them to be enclosed somewhere else like say in the middle over here the first order of business is going to be in the f first section we need to we'll lay it out with sand actually so we'll build yeah about here and then about here and then let's see that on the map. How is that for space? Yeah, that's going to be good. That's that's perfectly fine. Alright, so... Now... Let's destroy all the grass, and that'll be a way to identify... We're deforesting the section. Look at them! They're basically like ants! They're just like, all right, ant colony of humans, we need to move out. I mean, I could just get rid of them all by, you know, using the water tool, because they cannot swim. Well, actually, they can't touch water at all, because as soon as it touches them, they just vanish. They Thanos away! All right, next step, we start on here, and we're going to... I don't know why you guys are screaming. There's no dinos even out. And that should be it. But just in case. Whoopie doo 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 doo. Okay, so. We're going to layer this with sand. That way we don't forget where it is. And I'm going to. How long does it take from people to travel from here to there? It's not that far, guys. Trust me. Alright, so... What are the buildings that we do need? Like, for sure. Okay, so buildings we need. Hotel, at least one. Ham Creation Labs, two. ACU and Ranger Vehicle. Shelp, a security bunker. Guest Satisfaction, 50%. Paleo Bot, a pit greenhouse... And, uh, what else? Nope, that's it. Alright, let's get rid of this grass. You know, we need to keep it all the same in here. And now let's use this path, and since this... Well, actually, we'll use normal path because, well, it's not too fancy, not too dirty. Alright, it's obviously off-angled, but we'll use the straightness of this path to our advantage. And then we'll build a fence right alongside this. And we'll do one more. That should be good. Ah, that's a lot bigger than I was thinking, but you know what? It's fine. And so what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna line up little enclosures in between here, you know, for all the dinosaurs and stuff. But first, we need a, a tower right here. And then... Wait, no. There you go. Now, that's the first part done. Okay, so I've gotten the path laid out somewhat. And it turns out we can't really build anything here, because even if I were to move the path, it is a bit elevated and stuff, and even a slight elevation will make it go insane. So, what I'm thinking, guys, 
is right around this section will be like the power station, the ACU, Ranger, and Paleobotany. Or, the Paleobotany can go anywhere. It can even count as a guest area because I know there's hundreds of people who would love to go to Jurassic Park slash world just to see Paleobotany. And what I'm thinking here is going to be 100% guest stuff with um, a layer of vents and towers as well as over here for the vents and towers. And I was thinking about adding Jurassic Tour as well, but I realized that just doesn't make sense for a biological preserve. Like, at least one that's, like, full of dinosaurs, at least. Because I know that biological preserves or stuff do have sort of tours, like the trucks and stuff, but we're not doing that here. This ain't, um, with regular animals of today's world. These are prehistoric creatures that we know so little about, even though, you know... We've been doing this for like 30 years. Alright, so first we need a power station, which of course is gonna be Oh, that's medium. I was gonna be like, what? I have um yeah, I didn't research medium because I was like, why am I gonna waste my money on that? Obstructed by what? Awfully sensitive this thing is. And there we go. That should be fine. We can put a, um, large, so we can put a large substation right here. It can fit, can it fit actually this way? It can. Nice. And then when this is done, we can race, have everything. Okay, actually, that's a lot bigger than I was thinking. Okay, maybe we'll have to put one of the buildings right here. Like, let's see, can we actually fit both of them over here? That's the wrong one, Austin. How are we supposed to find out? Okay, ranger station. Okay, we can put you right... Well, actually, no, we can put you right other way. Well, let's see. Can we put you here first? As close as possible, which that seems to be it. Close there. Come on. Right there. And then... We need the ranger team right here. Okay, we'll have to put them back... Okay, we'll put the gate right around here. They'll have to reverse, but they'll survive. And then you... Okay, so this didn't go exactly as planned, guys. But you know what? Live and adapt. Live and adapt. an ACU, you will go here, of course. Terrain constraints? What terrain constraints? I ain't ever heard of them. Well, actually, can we... Yes, we can save lots of space by doing it this way. Way a little bit back. Easy. That does it. And now you... Oh my god, you've already spent over half your power. So, we're gonna put the in- not the reduced upkeep. We don't need to save money. We've got almost a hundred million here. Which isn't realistically a lot in this case. We can, um... Okay, we'll put two outage protections for now. We should be fine, guys. Like, yeah, we'll be fine. Like, look at this. We're in a tiny box. Even though it's not realistically tiny, but it is in this case. And now we need to start the guest facilities. We also need a hotel, which thinking we could have two, 
Like maybe one here and then one over here. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Th Let's see. How big are you guys? When you will you fit here? Maybe by the no, you ain't fitting there. You are way too huge. We're having one, guys. Okay, we'll put you right here, and then we'll have guest buildings over here. Well, for the rest of here, like alleys of them. Maybe we could actually fit another. Maybe? Maybe here? Maybe. And then, like, straight path here. Okay, hold on. Nope. Even though that's weird, it should be fine. All right. There you go. Straight. And then this will make the transport easier so we don't need for some stupid reason a monorail to go through here. And then what we can do is have the security shelter here. Yes, yes, right in the middle. And then two bathrooms right here. Well, right here, one there. And then one right there. And then demolish this bit of path. And then right in this cube, in the four corners, we'll put the main buildings we need. So we need restaurant, which We'll put this here. And then we need the clothes shop. And then bar here. And then where is it? Arcade here. There's the four main buildings. And then we can put trees in the middle here, because we can't fit any other buildings here. Maybe a restroom if we need another one. But we still have all of this space, this chunk right there, this chunk. And let's put some vents, which we'll start with the tower here. Now hold on, hold on, let's go to landscaping. Yes, destroy. We cannot risk you, um, shrink. There you go. Yep, so. You say that and 99% of the people there won't drink responsibly. Have you not seen this world? Alright, new team, new team. Now what's our rating? Oh my god, we are almost at five stars. So now we have everything we need. This first part of the mission is done, but we're not still... We're not yet finished, um... I can barely see this thing. It's so dark. Okay, so yeah. Build the following things. Uh, yeah, yeah, secure. What's the, um, guest satisfaction right now? Facility rating. Okay, all of them are over 50%, except for shopping, which is at 55 only, which, I mean, fair deals. Alright, so, okay, that's still up there. We should be fine for a little bit longer. Let's, oh, excuse me. Let's start putting some viewing towers. Starting with one here, vent, then one more vent, and 
actually, if we move these over a little bit more, then theoretically this should work. I say theoretically because this game can be very sensitive sometimes. So I put two of you guys here. There we go. And then viewing tower here. And then we go to this side and we'll do... That should be fine. And then here we'll have... We should be fine with them. Um, yeah, this will work here. So then you go there. The vent. And then the tower. That's not connected. No, duh. And then we also need the gate. I forgot. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Brack. Oh, come on. You can easily fit there. Oh, it's because the path is right there, I'm pretty sure. Now, please tell me it was just the path. It is, but we got to get it right in the blue. There you go. Aha! There you go. I nailed it. First try, guys. Now, straight path again. Right up here. And then, as far as this will go, and then straight there, and that should be fine. I know we can't fit in there. And then what's this? 2%. Now bathrooms. We'll start with you. Okay. And that, that's at zero. So we'll start with it like this. And now all we need to do is start a path system here. And there we go. You go here. And then we destroy that. Well, actually, no, we'll need this. And now, what else? We can have some guest facilities in here, I think. So let's see. We'll have... A fast food, does it fit here? Ah, it's just too... It's just a little bit too thin, so we'll actually just have to have... A fast food right there. A gift shop right here. And then maybe if, like, one of the other buildings, like, um, I don't know. These guys? Nope. What about toy shop? Nope, there's nothing going there. And what about here? Will it go here? Yeah, it goes right here, but you are going right in the corner because you are you have a corner entrance. And then toy shop. Well, we'll put you here. Then we'll put a bathroom right in the middle. We have another storm? Jesus, people. Get your priority. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, you don't fit there. Maybe, maybe you'll fit here. And then, toy shop, maybe you, maybe you can go this way. Nope, not even close. Okay, that's fine. We don't need, we don't need any more buildings there. We just need to connect this. Let me, we're just gonna get some rain and then... You know, we'll be fine. Now, all we need is power for all of these, which, darn it, I was hoping you would fit here. And since this isn't like a fancy 
real this isn't realistically supposed to be like, you know, fancy park and stuff. This is just a biological preserve. We don't need to worry about these being everywhere. We can try and get them out of the way, of course. But we don't Oh yeah, we have this pocket. I I forgot I forgot about it. And how's that? Ah, uh, you guys you guys need one as well, I see. And can you fit here? Oh, this just is working out for me. No, no, no retreating. That should be it. How much power do we have left? 33. We are fine. Fine. And now... We can put that last guest building, the toy shop, right here. And then we can fill this place in with trees or stuff. You know, whatever we want. And there we go, guys. That is the first part of the mission. Part 2, which will be us having to do things like, you know... Get every dinosaur up to its social, then get them all ready into certain areas. You know, all that stuff. And then, what we're going to do, guys, is I'm thinking we can have all of these, um, dinosaurs released at, at certain times. And with those times, you know, we have to build certain biomes and stuff and use certain scenery items in those trees. Like, for example, like, maybe... In one section, we need to have a... Oh, the dog is dreaming, so you might hear some wolves. So maybe, like, right in here, we build a little oasis sort of thing with sand. And then it says, we have to use sand. And then tree one, tree four. Oh, yeah, tree four works. And then, like, maybe rock three, rock five. And then, like, after that, we put in the following dinosaurs. Aranosaurus, T-Rex, um... Gal Struthiomimus. Maybe, maybe that's what we'll do for the part two. I haven't gotten that fully figured out. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. But if you have, I'd appreciate the like. And if you want to join the hunt, hit the subscribe button, of course. Be safe. And until the final episode of Claire's Sanctuary, as it should be with this final mission, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.